crafting world or your hobbies, or even if it's your home office, you can truly get organized with, of course, the origami. And I specifically wanted to start back here because I love my Cricut Maker and we have it in stock, but a lot of us have vinyls and paper and all that stuff. Imagine having one whole just Cricut station for all the things you have. Some of the features I love just personally, and this is you guys' request is, will you make it deeper? I can't tell you how many emails I get from my crafting gals who say, God, Gosh, does that shelf from origami, is it deep enough to hold my 12 by 12 paper? And I have to write them back and say, no, unfortunately, it's going to kind of flop over the sides of it. Not anymore, guys. Look at this. I'm going to pull this out. Check this out. Now you can hold full 12 by 12 albums or paper or those big um, Cricut, um, the sticky mats. They all can finally go inside a great origami system. And also, even if you say, well, you know what? Maybe I'm not a big crafter. Wait till you see the hundreds of ideas that we're going to show you tonight where you can use it way more than just your crafting or your hobbying uh, uh, talents, but really for almost any organizing in your home. All right, we got great colors tonight. We're going to go through them. We have the black, the bronze, the navy, platinum, red, turquoise, and white. And I'm going to get my special guest, Miss Tracy Rosa, out here because she's going to tell us all about the origami magic. Aren't you so excited? Can you tell? I know, and we were talking about this the other day. We haven't had this on in at least six months. It's been years in the making to get this as a Today Special. As soon as we launched this cart, it became a huge customer pick because not only do you use it as a craft cart, you can use it as a dressing station. You can use it in your bathroom. I know it says crafting. I know you're a crafter and you love it and it's great for that, but it's really great for storage and organization. I renamed it, even on my card, yeah. home and hobby. Yes. It's home and hobby. Yeah. It's not just craft. No, because this is a, our tallest drawer system. There are six drawers. We've got four thinner drawers and two really deep drawers, but this is origami, okay? Why do we like origami so much? The fact that you're going to get this craft cart and you are not going to have to worry about any assembly at all. All of the drawers come all the way out, and as I stack these like this, take a look and just look at the amount of capacity that you're getting with this entire drawer system. Remember, all of these drawers, powder-coated steel. So that's huge. Look at that. Look at the amount of capacity you're getting with this. Okay, how does this work? Well, we flip it over. Oh, I'm sorry, Suzanne. <laughs> it just shows you how big it is. Yeah. All Stay right. out of the way when they flip it over. <laughs> and then look, this is it. So it comes flat-packed like this. All of these drawers nest, so that's phenomenal. So if you ever want to store it, it's literally like storing just one drawer. You open it up. There's not even an origami clasp. You fret this back over. You're gonna notice right here, we have two little holes up here. So you got these holes, and how do you assemble it? You marry these holes with these pegs. Okay, so you line them up perfectly, and then it locks right into place, okay? Now you bring the drawers in. Notice that our track, Suzanne, they don't have any wheels, they don't have any uh, thing that it's gonna get stuck in. You slide in nice and easy like that, okay? And they slide beautifully. Beautifully. Even full, they and slide here's, great. Yeah, 10 pounds each. Even the thin ones are gonna hold 10 pounds worth of weight. And you're gonna load these down, trust me, when you get them home, and they're still gonna slide nice and easy. Notice how thick these are. These are just under six inches deep, so you're really gonna be able to get a lot of stuff into that. There you go, we've got six full drawers. And then in case you weren't excited enough, um, you get another wood shelf right here. <laughs> I love that. Yeah, so look at the complete workstation that you're getting. And this also locks in the design itself. And what I love is, let's say you wanna work, like I love crafting standing up. Yes. So if you have your Cricut machines and it's zipping in and out, I just like to, I like to wrap gifts and all that. I stand up a lot. Mm -hmm. I like this height, it's nice and high, but I love the fact that you can pop this up and if you lower it down, you can work at counter height. Mm -hmm. So if you so you've got options on the height on this and that was a big aha yeah. for me I was like, oh my gosh, it's right at counter height So it's perfect for me to work on my projects right here while I'm standing Also, if you pull it up against a chair, it's easy to get to everything mm -hmm. And the greatest part about this is when it's packed out It easily rolls to wherever you need to be and you know What's also awesome about the drawers is they pull completely out mm -hmm. So how many times you try to get into the back of a drawer and you can't see that embellishment that's back there or you're having a tough time 
from grabbing that stamp set you want. Right, like it drives absolutely. You crazy, right? And we actually include stoppers for the drawers in case you don't want them to come out. So oh. you have both options as well. That's great. So in case you think it may be a little top heavy on the front and you don't want to carry like a really heavy drawer out, it'll stop there. And I'll show you that on some of the other models. But with my embellishments, I like to pull them all out. I agree. I want to dig through them and find them. Absolutely. So that's one of the great things. You can pull a basket out, stick it on your table, do your crafting stuff, and then slip it away. Now, understand, we do not have a lot of these. In fact, Tracy and I were meeting beforehand, and we were really, honestly, kind of surprised. We only have a little bit over 9,000 for the entire big day. This is great for home. It's great for hobby. It does not matter. It's that wonderful, wonderful origami name that have gone on to become customer picks time and time again. And girls, this is something you'll never, and I normally don't say this on the air, I don't think you'll ever regret getting one. Number one, because you'll find a million uses for it. But really, the second reason is, it's because now your life just becomes so organized. Mm -hmm. I find that I finally got my crafting stuff organized. I do more projects, I create more fun cards. I really enjoy my time because I'm not digging anymore. I'm not trying to search for that one dumb stamp. Where the heck is it? Right. Once it's organized, then you really enjoy the idea of taking those little slivers of time in our busy lives and being able to be creative. Uh, we're gonna go over colors yes, next, and then we'll talk about uses. Absolutely. Okay, so so, okay, this is that beautiful black. I want you to notice as we go through the colors, the different wood tones. Origami has nailed it. So you've got the beautiful black and you kind of have like a walnut uh, wood tone to this as well. So you're getting that beautiful combination. Next, brand new, is our navy. Okay, this is a true, true navy. Great. I love this, the way that we've paired it with that beautiful light oak as well. Again, giving that wonderful kind of Nantucket nautical theme feeling. Mm -hmm. That's all the rage now. Put this in a white crafting room. I mean, it's really going to pop. Turquoise. I mean, really huge, huge, huge customer pick. It's very retro. Okay. And it's most popular right now. Ah, makes perfect that sense. That looks fantastic. It does. And look at, again, that is absolutely gorgeous with that wonderful wood tone and that light like oak on top of it. Again, I huge. I give you a size reference. This is a full size. No, this is the Gemini Mini. Mm -hmm. This is our Junior Mini, but a full-size Gemini definitely fits on here. Yeah, because this is two feet long. Yeah, that's Okay, great. so just remember that you're getting a lot of surface space, and you've got that space underneath. That top shelf there holds 50 pounds worth of weight, and that second shelf holds 20. So uh, the white, again, kind of has that dark walnut look to it, but a very, very rich tone as well. Right. Love that. Very clean. I even think great for the laundry room. And then next to it, um, look at... What kind of love in this uh, one? Okay, I'm a great... I, I I feel like every tone in my house is gray. Like I feel like I'm totally copying the magazines over there and like I, I want to see that hot color. It's like a white wash, or not a white, what would you call that? Like a white well, washy gray, when you, you know? you see this, see how it's got these gray tones to it? Look is. at that. It's kind of a gray with a white wash on it. Yeah, so and that, then, love that. I think that's really, really good looking. I agree, and that's brand new too, so I think right. that's sick. And then the, the one next to it is that vintage bronze, which is, it's, it's rich, you know? Yeah. And that vintage bronze is cool because when you get it home, there are specks of gold in it. So if you have dark tones, if you have um, leathers and woods, and that's going to bring it all together with that. So loving all of those. Okay, guys, I am on Facebook Live. We're doing that every night at midnight now. So if you have any questions, oh. everybody's saying hi. Eric and Janice and Nora and Patty and Tracy says, I heart origami. <laughs> Tracy, I want you to write to me, why do you love origami? Or better yet, come through and tell us why you love origami. Say hi to Tracy and let us know what do you love best about it. For me, it's just it's so worth it because you'll never find anything out there whether it's particle board or plastic that's going to be so well built and last for so long and is so versatile you know you can get a lot of shelving stuff out there but it has a thousand pieces and you don't know what to do with it or it's plastic and you know it's not going to hold anything oh this is my house this is really built to last mm -hmm. oh what did you do with that's that my, okay so this i use it as a dressing station you can see that's my wedding Cute. picture right there and look at i have all my jewelry yeah my chunky necklaces okay and then all of our colognes underneath and then under uh, we have Purses, clutches, I've got my scarves rolled up, my husband's got a million sunglasses, they live there. But that stuff I think is beautiful. So I use it as like a little bit of decor, but so now smart. it's not getting tangled and it's not getting messed up. And how how easy is it to get ready in the morning? Because you are a busy exactly. mom. Exactly. You and your husband are always on the go. Yeah. Like crazy. It's everything, I got an earring station there, you know, it's perfect like that. I got a, a mirror there so I can use it. But look, that's that 12 by 12 paper you're talking about. Yeah. And you can see Thank you've got goodness. two of them side by side. 
side. Wait, wait, can I say? Yeah. That's really well thought out, guys. One of the biggest requests I've ever gotten when people write me and say, Suze, I want to buy an origami shelf. Is it deep enough? And the vast majority are not. So that is so well thought out to be able to do two 12 by 12 side by side mm -hmm. because they're never usually deep enough. Okay, so we'll do that. Let's do the depth of the drawers, Marsha. There you go. We're yeah. going to answer your question. Okay, so here we go. This, remember, let's talk about this. This is two feet long here, the top one, and it's 13 inches deep. We'll talk about these drawers. These drawers are powder coated steel. They are super strong. They're about two and a half inches deep on the small one. I love that you get both options with the thinner drawers because listen, you have smaller items. You know, sure. you don't want really deep drawers for your teeny tiny, um, really intricate crafting needs. You know, you want the thinner drawers so they don't get lost. But listen, these bottom two, I got a ruler because I want you to see what I'm talking about. This here is close to just about six nice inches deep. Look at that right there. Okay, about six inches deep. So you really get a ton of capacity when you get down to these two bottom drawers. And no matter what drawer you choose, whether it's the thinner ones or these really thick ones, you're gonna be able to get 10 pounds in each one of these. They slide in and out, nice like that. And then all you do is grab this extra wooden shelf and slide this in. Notice right here though, take a look at this, okay? This locks it all in. So like Suzanne said, if you want to work, use this as a workbench, you're not going to have to worry about if it's wobbly or anything. It locks right into place. Okay, we got some questions. Good, good. Uh, Manish Misty, Mystery wants to know, could the wheels be taken off thinking of using it next to an industrial poster bed as a nightstand? Absolutely. That's a great, get the gray. Yeah. Oh, 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 yes, yes. That'll look so good. Great question. Absolutely, you can take the wheels off. We're all about customizing when it comes to origami. You can do what you want. Wheels on, wheels off, powder coated steel, indoor use, outdoor use, all of that. Drawers can come all the way out or we even give you stoppers so they don't come all the way out in case you're a little nervous if you have something really heavy in here. Okay. Now we want to go over it because Sherry, wait, Sherry loves her origami because uh, the wheels talked about that. Gordon says, always great quality. Love my bronze origami. Right. Yes. Thank you, Gordon. I appreciate that. Ben says, I have an origami shelf in my dorm room Ooh. and it holds so much in such a little space with a heart. It does. Like, this is great for a dorm room. Are you kidding me? Great comment, Ben. Anna said, are the shelves of the bronze a darker colored wood? Yeah. So let's show the wood. Sure. It's a little hard to see. Absolutely. Oh, that's white. Here we go. All so right. You're going to see it right here. Yeah. So look at it. Again, we've matched the different, different tones of wood here to go with the different colors. So yes, you are getting that beautiful, beautiful, rich tone with that dark vintage bronze. And I love that you guys love origami because if you have a bronze origami at home. Any other origami in bronze, this is going to match. Any of the white, any of the grays. I mean, exactly. the colors, if you have the, Point we've blank. done a turquoise, like really cool kind of desk. Mm -hmm. That's going to work back to the turquoise yeah. desk that we usually sell Absolutely. too. Absolutely. All right, a couple more comments too. I love this. Um, this Susan says, I already bought one of these in black. I use it in my kitchen to hold extra kitchen items mm -hmm. and extra spare uh, space for bulk items. I love it. Tracy wrote back, thank you, Tracy. And she said, I love origami because I can put it together myself and it's really pretty shelving. I have two in my pantry, one in my closet and one in my granddaughter's playroom. So again, love you to comment on Facebook. We're there live. I'm reading your comments. Say hi. Ask Tracy a question. She'll be glad yeah. to help you out. But this is the moment. If you really want to get a brilliantly versatile unit, get it tonight. And the only reason I encourage midnight is I have all the colors. Mm -hmm. So who knows what's going to happen later on. But if they start to sell out, then unfortunately they're going to be gone. Always at midnight, you get every one we have. And we're going to show you the colors again. Again, the white, crazy popular. It always is because it just goes everywhere, from bathrooms to bedrooms to kids' rooms, wherever. That platinum gray, those of you who have that industrial look, so slick. I think it looks so good. Then we have the classic red oak. The turquoise is that blue box turquoise. Mm -hmm. So if you're a girly girl and you know that blue, famous blue box store, that's that turquoise with a lighter oak. The bronze has a dark walnut a wood accent. Black has the walnut. White has the, we have the white with the walnut. So we have white, white. Right? Is that right? We have two no, whites? No, no. We just have the white with the walnut. Oh, that's weird. So we don't have oh, white, okay. white. We just have right, white we'll with the that. walnut. Ignore the white. Right. So ignore the first white. Is that yep. correct? Okay. So that's wrong. Uh, and then we have the navy with the oak. Yep. Miss Barbara in Alabama, thank you for joining Tracy and myself. You're on hi, HSN. Barbara. Oh, hi. Hi. So hi, what, hi. How are we doing? What do you think? <laughs> uh, well, I bought this craft cart up. Uh, the only other time I saw it on, uh -huh. it was some, some months back. And I even wrote an email that said, 
where is it? I want more. <laughs> <laughs> well, we listened to you. We got your email and said, well, let's just make it a Today special. <laughs> yeah, like two days ago. Yeah, that was, that was cool. We're, no. very, we're very responsive. <laughs> oh, yeah, you are. I have about 20 pieces of origami all wow. over through my house. Wow. And I love them, and I mostly use them for the crafting. But, you know, books, uh, makeup, I mean, pick something. You know, the little desks, the little rolling tables. Um, this one's going to, I have the uh, original one set up for um, my Cricut and all the supplies. Sure. And then this one's going to be for the Gemini and the die cuts. Well, can that's I ask you a question, Barbara? Because a lot of people look and say, oh my gosh, a shelf, $139. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a lot of money. What would you tell them? I, I, I can't imagine I, I, how I even lived without these. I mean, you just I pop it open. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it's easy. Uh, the wheels are easy to put on. I mean, uh, the drawer stops. I have those four kitchen cart yeah. drawer ones, you know. Sure. I have four or five of those. I use them for all kinds of things. Yeah. Um, it, it's just, to me, it's worth it. They're sturdy. Yes. Um, I have the big, tall shelves with the new attaching shelves, you know. Yeah. And uh, those. You have a lot. That, right? you know, <laughs> we got to come out with an origami couch for you. I know, right? <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, yeah. The recliner. I mean, something, yeah. Yeah, more furniture. Well, Barbara, thank you for your time. It was great chatting with you. Well, thank and, you uh, for talking to me. Yeah. It was great, and, and it's a wonderful product. I've given it as gifts and told everybody about how I wonderful love it. Thank you. Awesome, I think awesome. she's awesome. your number one origami fan. I know. I'll fan. take it. I'll take Thanks, it. Thanks, Barbara. Thanks, Barbara. And Barbara picked up the white with the uh, the oak on oh, it, love too. It. Showing some different uses. Obviously, we just saw the bathroom. I love the office shoes you right. just showed over here. Mm -hmm. Because, guys, if you're starting your own small business, maybe you just don't have a homework space or an office space. Look, this is a big old HP printer on right, top. Right. It's a full-size printer. And then all that stuff we need to find. Like, mm -hmm. dang on it, where's the business size hey, envelopes? I wanted to bring this up. There oh, are a thousand great. pieces of paper in here. Wow. Okay, so you know how heavy reams of paper are, but still notice how nice and easily it glides in That's and out. Point. So it's weighted down, and again, not a problem. Really easy to grip handles. This top shelf holds 50 pounds worth of weight. This holds 20 pounds worth of weight. Each drawer holds 10 pounds worth of weight. 13 inches off the wall, two feet long, and it stands three feet, nine inches tall. So again, full-size printers. I know you like to use this area as a workstation, yep. but I actually like to use this area um, for a laptop station. Oh, great so, point in the you kitchen. Know, yeah, absolutely. Okay, real quick. Um, hi, Judy from Texas. Um, Bridget says, I use the origami shelving for all my cookie-making supplies. I have hundreds of cups and my Christmas cookies. Finally all organized, loving it. That we have not heard of before. We know right. baking bakers love this, but for all the cookie cutters, of course, that's such a good idea. Kimberly says, I have this particular craft cart in bronze and white, and they're great. I've got other origami items as well. The desk, a shoe rack, and a large rack. Good, I'm glad you love it. Jules said, how much height is between the top shelf and the second shelf? Well, let's, so how much well, height do we have right here? right here? We shall Let me grab my you. little handy dandy ruler let's go right so over B, here you want to do that so one? yeah we're we're looking at I love that question because you do get a good height. We're looking at 10 inches between that bottom shelf and that top shelf as well. So a great Perfect. amount of workspace there or just a great amount of storage space. But remember, the second shelf is going to give you 20 pounds worth of weight as well. So, I mean, extremely sturdy. You're talking wood and powder yeah, coated like, steel. Like, you're not going to get better things to make than this that. This isn't particle board. No. It's going to get a little loopy on you. Right. Uh, okay, Bridget wants to know, let's see. Oh, she's saying I have the perfect spot in newly model bathroom. Awesome. The turquoise is retro amazing. Totally agree with you. My husband's favorite color. He wants it for his shop. That's awesome. Love it. Now, um, Dawn wants to know, would this work for crochet items and steen, ste uh, um, skeins of yarn? Uh, okay, let's go back to the one that has the cricket, and you can see all of the yarn oh, yeah. down there at the there bottom. Oh, look, honey, you're going to be so yes. happy. Huh? Look at that. It holds a ton of stuff. <laughs> and do you know what's really funny? This isn't completely full. No, we and you were laughing about that earlier. Like, you can put a lot more stuff. I I like, you guys didn't even <laughs> pack these out. But look, full-size uh, albums, that's not even full. Mm -mm. The 12 by 12 papers, 8 by 10. I, look at this, look. They, they just put a team, they, it would have cost them $8,000 <laughs> to prep these. But guys, 
Look, I have all this extra space. Yeah. They just spread it out to make it look good. You just hold a ton of stuff. And all you right, know what Joan? I, oh, I'm oh, sorry. sorry. No, you know what I love about it is notice the mesh, okay? It's really, really a fine mesh. So you know those intricate pieces, like even sequins. If I dumped a whole thing of sequins in here, none of that's gonna fall between the cracks. That's another great feature as well. Oh, that's true. You know, so yeah. it's, it's like, you know, you'd hate to spill something in there and then it all fall on the floor. It's not gonna do that. That's a that's great feature. That's a great point. All right, let's say hi to Joan in New Jersey. Hi, Hi, Joan. Jim. You're on with Tracy Hi, and Suzanne. Hi, good evening, ladies. And to you, welcome. Thank you. Well, um, I actually have this piece of origami. Good. And I absolutely love it. Why do you love it, and what are you using it for? I use it for all my craft things. I'm a, a card maker, and I've got tons of little this and that, and they all fit in that those drawers perfectly. Yeah. Isn't it lovely? And do you roll it around, or do you keep it in place? I keep it in place, mm -hmm. and the main reason I love origami, uh, not only because it's made beautifully, but I'm a widow, I live alone, mm -hmm. so if I get something and I can't put it together, I'm at a loss. Right. This, it arrives in the box, I open the box, and it's so easy to put together. Isn't it nice to know when origami arrives, it's not a, a 10 day process? Oh, yes. <laughs> you just and go, you don't have to oh. read the directions upside down and backwards. Right. right, and you have a whole bunch of nuts and bolts left that you don't know what to do with. You're like, uh oh, right. this isn't good. No worries there. Well, Joe, wonderful. Would you encourage others to try this tonight? Oh, I, I would recommend this to anyone. I love this awesome. piece. I love it. Well, thank you so much, and have a great evening. Thank you so much. All right, thanks. Okay, I got a quick question. Can't, sure. Jeff says, can't wait to get my first origami. I've been waiting for two tiered racks and the tray table for some time. Uh, there's a couple of more items I want to, LOL. Um, also, we're getting a question on the stopper. Can you just kind of show how the stopper works? I know you don't have them out here. Yeah, but. no, okay, let's see if I can pull, let, all right, let's get this one out right here. All right, I'm bring this turquoise out. Let's see if you, we can get in here. If you can take a look, um, again, super, super easy to assemble. But do you see this little black stopper right there? Um, can you see that there? Okay, perfect. Oh, perfect. So those are the little rubber stoppers. You're gonna get two per shelf. Okay. So what does that do? Well, that. Oh, and they just pop they down They just pop in. in there. They're little holes They're like in little there. They're like little tabs. Yeah. You just stick them down. And so what you do is you put the card in and then you just go ahead and put the rubber stoppers in. So like I said, if you have something heavy up front here or let, you don't want to pull it all the way out and everything come, right. come out, maybe you, you question your strength or something, there you go. You, you have know, those wonderful stoppers. You put the stoppers in for the kids. Oh, put great idea. Put all their puzzles yes. and toys and all that. Say, kids, put your stuff away and they toddle over and they can do it without ripping the whole um, thing out. Exactly. So, also, too, don't forget you can do it with wheels or without wheels. A lot of people don't use the wheels because yeah. they, once they set it up, they never take it down. And you can lock those wheels, too. All right, so we talked about, oh, the dimensions on the inside of the drawer. We kind of covered that one. Also, thank you, our HSN rep. They're adding some answers for me. Bob said, is the quality, is it like the four-shelf folding racks? Uh, these are worth it. Oh, if the quality is like the four-shelf folding racks. Yes. I will quite frankly tell you this is so stable and so sturdy, Bob. I would 100% get this. I would absolutely recommend it. There's no, I, I think this is going to be and continue to be a huge customer pick. And we're doing so much tonight, but I even have some reviews. And if you guys go on hsn.com, I know I got a lot between the everything I got in my hands, but if you go to hsn.com, oh, where are the reviews? You will see. Oh, thanks, guys. They're going to put them up. Here we go. This one is um, Gam in California. I ordered this for my daughter who's an artist. She loved it so much she asked me to order her another one. Uh, Kingsland in Virginia. Purchased for my daughter to use in her kitchen. Very functional. Occupies a small footprint. She loves it. Philby in Massachusetts. Now I have my own little crafting corner and this unit made it easy. And that's really a neat thing too because a lot of times we have our crafting supplies just all over the place or it could be your baking supplies or it could be mm -hmm. your sewing stuff or your quilting stuff and it's everywhere and when you sit down to do a project it's very frustrating and you kind of give up because you can't find it everything. Right. Once you get one of these origami shelves, all of a sudden you open and go, there's my embellishments. Oh yeah, there we go. There's my ribbon. There's my whatever. There's my stamps. And all of a sudden you can get and take that little sliver of time when you just want to create a fun little card for your best friend mm -hmm. and you can get it done without having to search and dig. It's just all right here. And I love so much what Joan said a minute ago, because I find myself in the same situation. When I have that 
only a few minutes amount of time to get organized. It has to be done on my time. So I can't sure. wait for a handyman, for a husband, for anybody to come and help me. And it gives you, it actually feels really good. <laughs> I don't know to put this, I hate the word assembly because if it comes in more than, um, if it comes with screws and if it comes with a um, tool, that's basically like, um, that's engineering to me. That's not assembly, you know, sure. that's building. So again, remember this is powder coated steel too. And I want to just stress that because that means it's not going to rust. It's not going to chip. It's not going to corrode. It's not painted. It's chemically adhered. That paint is chemically adhered. Look at these wonderful, wonderful mesh drawers. Like I said, nothing is getting through these. Even the smallest sequins, beads, anything like that, it's going to stay nice and neat in these drawers. And because it is that powder coated steel, this is perfect for your bathroom. I mean, imagine all of the stuff you're going to, you could pack in here, your makeup, your nail polishes, all of your hair supplies, all of uh, our magic tricks, everything. And this, look at, this is what you're talking about, Suzanne, with the little boy. Look. You know, he can't, he can't pull that all the way out on him because they've got the stoppers in. But that's it looks so fantastic smart. in your room as a drawer. You could put a small TV on the top of this and it could be a TV a stand. Great point. And then great that. in the bathroom like I talk about. So I got to tell you a funny story. So yeah. Teresa's on here. She says, I have one of these and love it. I'm thinking about ordering a second one. If only the UPS man would bring it when my husband is at work and I can sneak <laughs> it into my craft room. <laughs> <laughs> well, you I love it. I'm not sure that'll happen, but why not? Give it, it a shot. Um, oh, we do have someone. Jan wants to know, do the hooks work uh, to hang on the sides of it? You know the little origami hooks we have that go on the sides of the kitchen cart? Um, I don't I, think I so. I don't think so. Yeah, it's just not, in all it's honest, not made that way. Because no. you wouldn't be able to get the shelves out. Yeah, and, the, and the, those are a little, a little deeper. Remember, this is that footprint. It's 13 inches off the wall with, again, a six-drawer system. So we're literally maximizing a ton, <laughs> almost four feet of vertical storage okay, space. Okay, so. here we go. Real, real quick, yeah. um, and I'm going to say your name wrong. Kaija wants to see the black and bronze together. All okay. right, here we go. Here okay. we go. You, okay. you, bring, okay. you bring black, I'll bring bronze. There we go. And look, it's because we can. And this one is, he I mean, this is packed out with stuff. It's very, you can tell, look how easy it rolls. It's so look at fluid. That. Look at that. I'm doing a one-handed, too, for I God love sakes. how she was totally in on that. Look at it. It is a very okay, similar wood finish up top here. Okay, look at that. But there you go. I mean, talk about can rich. Can you guys see the difference here? There we go. Oh, oh, perfect. Okay, there you go. There's your black. And there's the vintage bronze. And I, you can see the wood tones. The I know we're getting crazy, but can you shoot both of these together? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> can you imagine doing a whole row of crafting hobby what? happiness? Or what about built? I mean, this could replace built-ins. Built -ins. So right. Oh, Would my gosh. Would that be heavenly? Yeah, that's awesome. All right, so Tracy's hanging out with me for the rest of the night, so we'll see her a little bit later. Guys, thanks for hanging out with me on Facebook. Got Tried to get to most of your messages and your questions, so I hope to help you out there. Um, don't forget, we have um, a really cool thing that's going Going on and it's a great day to do it because our origami shipping is five dollars so now everything else that you buy throughout the rest of the next 24 hours in crafting is shipping for free you get this today special and everything else ships for free today or once you hit a five dollar shipping so you know you have three dollars here two dollars there then everything else ships for free it's a very rare thing we do for 24 hours